Hello everyone, it's Mark Flopsy Shepherd once again, and welcome back to Yoshi's Island. In the previous video, we finished off World 1 with a very slime-tastic boss fight, and we are starting on World 2 today. So, here's a familiar looking enemy on the 2-1 uh, uh, thumbnail. I wonder what that could be. So we're back on the green Yoshi again, so... It's going to be the same Yoshis on each level of, um, you know, each each part of it. So it'll be exactly the same order we did World 1 in. Yay, it's a Koopa! So yeah, Koopas can't be swallowed though. That's the only pain about it. Oh yes, we like this music. Okay, let's get this. is going to introduce a. This is going to introduce a gimmick. Another gimmick in the game. First, touch a superstar and become powerful Mario. This is the only time in the game where you take control of Mario, and it's pretty fun and it's pretty uh, reminiscent of what Mario will eventually become when he grows up. So he becomes pretty indestructible when he touches this star look. And Yoshi gets put in a uh, massive egg for some reason. And you can uh, you can get subsequent sequence stars to uh, keep it going. When he starts flashing like this look. When he starts flashing it means he's running out. We can go and we can be Mario again. Why not? It's fun, isn't it? I mean, we can use it just to get try and get some more coins. And if you should fail, there's the flippers here. So there you go. There's some left-facing ones. You can't actually go back through them. Notice how I mentioned them before. So yeah, it's, that's a good time to introduce that gimmick. To be honest, I think they picked the perfect time to introduce that gimmick. You do see that star, like, on and off. So here's a good example of how you can use it. And use, oh, there we go. Messed it up. But it'll respawn, don't worry. It's just going to be harder to eat now. Okay, I'm messing that up. Let's try that. There we go. That works. You'll notice that some platforms are falling as well as I step on them. Like this one. Okay then. So we'll go down this pipe now. Oh yes, here comes a familiar character. Does anyone remember Yoshi's Woolly World? This guy is very prominent in it. This dog's name is Poochie. He is cute, isn't he? Hitch a ride. He runs in the direction that Yoshi faces. So this is actually where Poochie first appeared, ever. And uh, to be honest, he lives up to his name. Look at that. Okay, those spikes can actually insta-kill Yoshi. So you've got to be careful. When Poochie jumps up like that, you've got to jump up yourself. Oh, there's a key. And don't worry, if you, if you fall off him, he will come back and help you. It's just you don't really want to fall off on those spikes, because those spikes are... Spikes are into the death for Yoshi. I think if you leave an egg in front of Poochie, he'll start playing with them. I just want to show Poochie playing with an egg, because uh, it's a nice little feature. I think I'm on the wrong side of it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Isn't that cute? I want to do it again now. Oh, that's so cute. I like the way he plays with the egg. That's such a nice Easter egg. He doesn't really want to give it up now. <laughs> Okay, so two 
two key things to introduce in this get introduced in this one level. And it introduces it throws another one at you as well. You can actually get you can actually get majorly squashed in this section if you're not careful. You've got to be careful because there are some red coins on this bit as well. I think they're a bit further up though. That could have that could have ended back quite badly. Okay. Okay, the red coins are up here. Oh, no, there's no red coins at all. In fact. Whoa! There we go. I don't even know what came out of that cloud just then, but I could have died if I wasn't quick enough. Whoa! I was ground pounding to stop that thing by, from launching its little grenades. Oh, that could have ended quite badly. Oh, okay. We only managed to get one red coin. I think I despawned them. Might have to go back down the pipe. Oh no, I can't go back down the pipe. Okay, I've lost those red coins then, I think. Oh, kind of acts for that. Okay, I'm going to try and see if I can get those red coins to reappear very quickly. No, nope, they're not reappearing. Okay, I think I've lost them. Careful, because those things still can hurt you if they fall, even if they fall off of them. See what I mean? I'm not doing very well keeping Mario with me. Okay, they're going to drop on you automatically, except for the boxes for some reason. Okay, we don't want them to uh, fall over a hole in the ground. Something else to note as well is if your counter happens to be under 10 for some reason, you should probably wait for it to count back up to 10 before you count collect any stars because otherwise you won't, uh, otherwise you'll lose the automatic. Uh... Oh, we've lost that one up. That's not good, is it? Oh crap! Mr. Flower. This might be the first level we end up on getting a bonus stage. Yeah, can't despawn them either. Yeah, this has not been a good level for us. Oh, well, we got this one. Oh, nearly left with that cloud. Which would have been helpful. Oh, we got that key. I was wondering, I was starting to wonder what that key was for. Oh, popping balloons. Pound the ground plan. Oh, here we go. This is just a game of chance. You've got to find the correct... Uh... Oh, I bloody overlooked the one which actually... This has not been a good level for me. I think I just want to draw a line on this level. This game could just further crap on me by giving me a, that one that I didn't get. Oh no. Seven for seven still. My streak for bonus stages is continuing. God, it's a low score there, 84. We're going to get a new bonus stage. Ooh, we've got drawing lots. This is just a simple, you flip the thing and you get the item shown. And of course it'd be that ugly mug. Yeah, at least it shows you what you could have got. <laughs> I, need, I really need to start 
stop being predictable. Okay, so 2 2. I think these are called the Baseball Boys or something. Yep, the Baseball Boys. Ooh. If I hit that cloud with an egg, it will fly off in the direction it currently points. Okay. Yeah, if it had landed on that guy with the oven mitt. Yeah, if they basically come across any egg, they will try and throw them, those guys with the baseball mitts. Like this guy, if you throw an egg at him, he'll just bat it back at you. What? How the hell did that hit there? What? Is he actually hitting me? Okay, that was weird. Sometimes clouds can do useful things like that, like remove platforms or obstacles for you. Clouds are like... There's, there's an infinite possibility to what clouds can do for you in this game. I don't like those things. I don't think it's actually possible to defeat them either. You can disable them, but they'll just come back in, they'll just come back in like five seconds or so. Oh, there's another of those flowers. I think that's our third encounter with that happy flower. Oh, not these things again. I think we've got another Mario flower on this. Uh, Mario star on... Invincibility star on this level. Because uh, usually when the wall's curved like that, it kind of hints at it. Okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did in 2-1. I don't think I ever had problems with the. Uh, I don't think I ever had problems with um, red red coins despawning. Oh, here we go. Just telling us about the superstar in advance this time. someone small can go on from here so that's why we need the star because we need to we need mario to be able to um get past those forms so there we go ready for mario swing your arms from side to side come on let's do the mario They are a bit generous with the super superstars, but then they just eventually stop giving... Oh, there we go. Mario actually managed to do the middle ring there. Okay, there's a little trick you can do here, look. Oh, no. It didn't work because the guy fell off the edge. Of course he did. Okay, it didn't quite work out that way, but never mind. I'll just do this instead. Okay, they've got eggs sitting next to them, that's exactly... Okay, so this one needs to be a bit smarter. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work either. I'm not having much luck with these egg, this egg throws at the moment. There we go. And he'll throw it back at you and hit the cloud for you. And that's exactly what you were meant to do. Okay. Well, this was the item we failed to get in the bonus stage. It was a uh, watermelon. You just freeze your enemies solid, basically. And just they'll just uh, disappear pretty much like that. Oh, there's a middle ring hidden in here as well. This is like in uh, 
one of the one World 1 levels where you had the hidden walls. I think it was in 1-2. Might not be 1-2 actually. You can use the watermelon ice thing as well to break clouds. So there we go. Okay, there was nothing along that wall, silly me. There's a red coin in there. Can we get on top? No, we can't. We actually have to use the platforms. We actually have to use the platforms very... I think that's what the spring's for. It's the only way to get up, isn't it? Is there something in here? No. Okay. Silly me. Silly me. God, these guys. Oh, shit. Those things are annoying because they, they steal your eggs. Oh, fuck off. No, you didn't hit me in there. Right, you're getting disabled. Yeah, and they, nick they steal your eggs as well. Which is very annoying. to get rid of them permanently is to uh, freeze them solid or turn them into eggs. I'm not sure really. See, he stole an egg there and went down the hole, so that wasn't very good, was it? Is this another dig a mole section? Yeah, it is. <laughs> looks, he looks nice in pink. It must be sad. See what I mean? Is if uh, there's no earth around him, he might fall down. There's no disadvantage to not hitting the block though, it just meant that you would have to go round. They fall out of the hole there. No, they might not actually. Oh, there's one with a skull on its head there. Oh, well, we need some of that. Had a disastrous previous room, so it's a good job we got that. Yeah, they can, you can jump out of the hole here. I think it was a hole in the terrain though, they can't do it. Yeah, like that, look. They can't jump out of that. Just showing you that they're still lurking, aren't they? Just knock this guy right back so we can collect the red coin. These, those guys can be beaten with ice, so that's good. Good. More stars is always good. This is actually the part the game tells you you can put an enemy into this tulip to receive some stars. But they don't tell you until like the tenth level in the game. And you've seen these like this is probably the fourth time you've seen these things now. Oh god. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get to 30. That's alright though. I think the best thing to do is to bounce them off the spikes here. Those spikes will ki kill Yoshi, so it's not worth trying to jump for those coins. You know, you'll just be instantly dead. Oh. Didn't know you can knock the skull off those things. That's a new that's a new concept to me. Okay. This can be quite difficult this bit, because it's quite difficult to control yourself. 
Well, I've managed to do it. I'm not going to hang around here, though. I'm not even going to try and grab that watermelon. I might have missed something on the upper level, so I'm just going to go. I'm just going to return to that very briefly. Just want to make sure I don't miss it. Didn't miss anything on the upper levels before I continue. I think there's something over here. Oh no, this is where I came from, isn't it? There is something here, though. There's a one-up. Might be something to the right here as well. Yep, there was a red coin here, so it was worth coming back. Might be something on the higher levels again. No, got that. What about the very top? I think we just went straight... Yeah, there's another red coin here. Oh, fuck off. There we go. We've got the last red coin, so I think we can continue. And we've got all five coins as well. We might have messed up, though. We might we might be short for the uh, 30 out of 30 on stars. Okay, this video is dragging on a bit now, so I'm going to try and get it finished as quickly as possible. Oh, there we go, we're right at the goal ring. Can we make this 8 for 8? We do make it 8 for 8. We're doing well on these bonus stages at the moment. Every time we've got one, we've managed to get one, but we didn't manage to get 100, we got a 94. Yeah, well, that's better than the last level, we got an 84. Ooh, slot machine. A chance to earn extra lives, press A to stop each tumbler. I've never been particularly good at this one. Okay, so they stop about two slots up from where they are. So I'm going to try and... Well, if I mess this up, then there's no point even trying to do the third slot. Oh, no! Well, I'm going to see if I can try and get the third egg anyway. I just need the practice. There's only one egg on the third reel. That's a bit that's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, so we need to stop in about seven when the seven comes along. Well, we managed to get it, but we couldn't get the middle one. It would have been a nice three up if we got it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I shall see you next time.